Niger Republic, A Word of Caution, by Femi Fonikeoda, FFK. Published, August 9, 2023. I am on record as saying that if Niger, Burkina Faso, Mali, or any other country, attacks Nigeria, violates our territorial integrity, or attempts to take one inch of our nation we must and will fight them to the last man. I have also said that Nigeria's defense budget is far higher than all the other 14 countries in West Africa put together and that there is no nation in our subregion that can defeat us in a military conflict despite our many challenges. I stand by these words. I am however constrained to add the following as a word of caution to those who seek to cry havoc and unleash the dogs of war and as a piece of unsolicited advice to the advocates of military invasion. It would be imprudent and unwise for Nigeria to attempt to clean up France's mess in the Niger Republic. The French are the most rapacious, greedy, vicious, pervasive, destructive, and unrelenting neo-colonial foreign power on the African continent. They have done nothing for Africa other than pillage, rape, undermine, plunder, and take advantage of her. To deploy our military, go to war, and allow Nigerian blood to be spilled just to help her to continue to gang rape the Nigerians and subject them to slavery would be unjust, wicked, short-sighted, stupid, and counterproductive. Worse still it would have implications for the stability of our nation, our entire subregion, and our increasingly fruitful relationship with President Putin and the Russian Federation who are slowly emerging as Africa's best friend and, together with the Chinese, appear to be the only foreign power that truly seeks to assist and support the growth and development of African countries. To those who believe that Nigeria ought to continue to be the poodle, local enforcer, and hatchet man of the French, the Europeans, the British, and the Americans in our subregion, I ask the following, who do they think is behind Boko Haram and Iswap and why did these so-called Western allies refuse to sell us arms to fight those two terrorist organizations until Trump came along? And of course, since Trump left we have been given nothing. Not one of them truly cares for Nigeria in the way the Chinese or Russians do and to them, we are nothing but a source of mineral resources and a local sheriff. They want us to go and fight a war against our African brothers just to further protect their own economic and regional interest and they want us to throw the West African subregion into a theater for a horrific, brutal, and never-ending proxy war between them and Russia which would result in turning the whole of the West and North African subregion into a cauldron of fire. Worse still they want Northern Nigeria particularly and the entire African Sahel region and all the countries in it to be burned to ashes and go the way of Ukraine, Iraq, Syria, Libya, and Afghanistan whilst they sell their arms, test their weapons, pillage our resources, turn our people into homeless destitute and penniless refugees, destroy our collective future and serve our flesh and blood, on a dark satanic altar to the sinister forces, and the bloodlusting vultures and demons that they work for and serve. We must never allow this to happen and if the truth be told the biggest mistake that Echo was made in the first place was to threaten Niger with military action if the coupists refused to step down and restore President Bozum to power. I say this because once a threat is issued and it is not followed up with action you look weak, ineffectual, and pathetic. That is the quandary we are now in and the wisest thing to do at this point is to step back from the brink and rhetoric of war and engage in diplomacy. Deploying our troops into our neighboring country in an attempt to effect regime change on behalf of a bunch of power-obsessed feral psychopaths like the French whose primary dream and fantasy has always been the dismemberment, destabilization, and destruction of Nigeria is asinine and unacceptable. To do the dirty work for a nation that stood on the wrong side during our civil war and that almost pushed us into a war with the Cameroons over the Bakasi Peninsula is deeply insulting to our sensibilities. I do not support military governments and I cannot abide or stomach the way in which Niger, Mali, and Burkina Faso have threatened, insulted, and made a mockery of our nation and people over the last few days but one thing is clear, the military regimes in all of those three countries are widely popular and the hatred for France in each of them is palpable and irreversible. Why should we get involved in all this? This is not our fight and if we choose to stand on the side of the French imperialists, neocolonialists, and oppressors against the will of the people of these three sovereign nations it may well result in chaos, mutiny, rebellion, and a revolution in our own country. This must be avoided at all costs. It is time to get sense and sheet our swords.
This whole thing is obviously a Western conspiracy and trap and we must ensure that our newly elected president does not fall into it. This is the time for restraint and wise counsel to prevail. This is the time for us to put our national interest before that of any other. This is the time for us to indulge in some sober reflection and reject any gung-ho and bellicose action that would ultimately result in a reversal of the great stride that we have made as a nation over the last 24 years and the destruction of our great country. A word is enough for the wise. Femi Fonikeoda, FFK, is a former federal minister and astral director of special media projects, special media operations, and new media of the Tinubu slash Shetima Presidential Campaign Council. This podcast was brought to you by BG Media App and Barglobal.net. Please subscribe, like, and share this video. It does help support our productions. Also, please download the BG Media App to access the best works of the world's authors rendered in audiobooks, along with great experience through music, podcasts, and vodcasts.